Hello and welcome to SOFI 2018 in Amsterdam, the theme of which is Accelerating Transformation. I'm Hannah Wallace and with me now is Saskia de Volder, Head of Western and Central Europe for SWIFT and we're going to be talking about European payments transformation. Hello Saskia, thank you very much for speaking with me. Hi Hannah. Now there's no doubt that transformation is underway in European payments with the Euro system and others setting a clear timetable for market infrastructure renewal, but what are the other big drivers? Uh, well, the three mainly, I think. The first one being regulation. Uh, I think Europe is leading in that way with PSD2. They're really pushing for open banking. They're really pushing the banks to rethink their model. Um, and we see that other parts in the world are uh, looking closely at what is happening and actually trying to copy that model somewhere. So that regulation has really created the momentum into the market. Uh, the second one is technology. I think technology allows for many things to change uh, and actually linked to the customer requirements. Huh? Customers that have a device today in which they send a text message in a few seconds, well, I think they want to have their payment executed in also a few seconds as they're used to in today-to-day -today life. And technology linked to that allows more and more, uh, and definitely also in the future, these things to happen. So the whole market is changing very fast. The combination of these three makes it very exciting in the payment space today. All right, so you've highlighted the drivers there. But how is the industry responding? The industry responding, I think, um, very, very fast. In the first instance, I think banks are really rethinking. And for that, they need to have people with a different mindset into their organization. They need to have people that really think about what these customers want and how technology can encourage uh, them to develop products and services to offer that customer um, requirement or, or that new way of dealing with customer, the customer experience. Uh, the industry as well, I think, has to review their processes. Um, it's good to use a new technology or to develop a new product, but if you don't change the process behind it, then it's not probably not going to be very successful. So it's rethinking the entire industry. And if I could give an example of that, if GPI was developed between the banks and SWIFT together, uh, using a lot of the existing rails, offering the customer experience of seamless payments, transparency, ability to track where your payment is, so which is, I think, what really those corporate customers would like to have. But you need to also change the entire process behind, because if you don't show them that track, or if you don't show them the way the result is of using these uh, uh, new rails, then it's not going to help. So it's a really big uh, change of mindset, and we see the entire industry really moving up fast. I think banks have really a great challenge ahead mm -hmm. and are embracing that challenge. I don't think they're saying, oh, we now need to do all this. No, they're really embracing it, changing you know, the way they look at their consumers and really try their best uh, to live up to those expectations as soon as possible because it takes a bit of a while to transform your entire industry. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight. No, there's no doubt about that. And finally then, coming to SWIFT, how is SWIFT being affected by these market dynamics and how are you responding? Okay, I would say that SWIFT in the first instance stays what it is. I mean, we offer operational excellence. We offer a global network 24-7. So that is very important that they can have um, a mindset in the sense that SWIFT will be there and they can build upon that. And like I mentioned, GPI uh, being one of them. Um, we're also looking at new technologies together with them. We're doing different proof of concepts. We're looking at how that new technology can also uh, give them other access to SWIFT products and services, which then again has impact on what they can offer to their customers. And as I was just in a cyber panel, I think I need to mention the whole cyber threat where SWIFT is really together with the industry doing everything to prevent cyber attacks to happen. As mentioned by many people, you can't prevent them, but we can at least try to be ahead of them. Um, protect the entire system. It's not just one. It's not just about us, ourselves, or one bank. It's about everybody together, uh, do this all together. And in the same way, I think the community, the power of the community that SWIFT has, looking at new technologies, looking at new processes, uh, supporting all of that, I think is the powerful um, magic that is happening today. Great. Well, some good advice there. Saskia, this has been great. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching.